This is a conclusion to the reading of the Snow Globe. It's not a big book. It's actually pretty small. I'm not sure exactly how long it took to go ahead and record this, but it's only, what, 85, 85 pages long, and it's kind of a small book. But there's so much in there to learn and to experience by. And it, it really has become the basis of Marissa's teachings. As you know, Marissa is a, a clear channel, and it's rather amazing to work with her. As her father, I am a Christian, and it was very hard coming in and accepting what she does. I always thought that the dark side was coming in, and my pastors were giving up on me and giving up on Marissa and I. They just thought that we were walking straight into hell with our eyes wide open instead of walking into hell backwards. But something different happened. It's It's been an enlightening to both of us, and especially to me as a Christian, that I've now been able to become closer to Christ and closer to Jesus and understand who he was. For the most part, I was a Christian, but I was also an agnostic because I couldn't believe, I couldn't understand when the pastor would say, let Jesus live within you. And I'm going, wait, 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 wait. Jesus is a man. Yeah, he died on a cross and he died for our sins and all this other stuff. But it just never really made sense. But fortunately, God led me to accept the miracle that happened in Marissa. I mean, Marissa could have gone off in really dark directions. She could have been like a psychic or whatever and, and gone out there and told people what lottery numbers to pick or, or what man to find in, in some woman's life or what have you. But instead, she was drawn to God. She was drawn to light. And she's now based all of her work and all of her teachings around the light of God. Call it source. Call it Christ. Call it whatever you want to call it. But it is the light. And there is so much more than this life we live here on earth right now. So the snow globe is really a good tool to use. It's a way of connecting yourself to that power source uh, that we're all connected to, but we really don't know and we really don't understand because we chose this life. We made a plan, what we call biblically as God's plan, but we did it with our soul, with our soul family and our soul group and our soul pod and with our angels and our guides and Christ and just hordes and hordes of different people that are up in heaven that we don't know because part of the whole deal is we get to do this plan and and come down here as humans to be something, to learn something. And maybe we've lived many, 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 many lives in the past, but we just never learned the lessons we came here for. So it's like an ongoing treadmill until we figure out what we're here for. But we come as amnesiacs. We don't remember. It's all written down. They all know what it is. But we as humans, we don't. That's why we have spirit within us. And the spirit within us allows us to connect with the light. And we can visualize that as a snow globe. And with a bigger snow globe above us, which is the light. And that light just beams all this light down into us. Or pours this paint down over our, our snow globe. That just lights up the whole thing. So it's all a visualization technique. But it works. It really does. It tends to give us peace. I love the Bible. I love everything about the stories in the Bible and everything. But I feel like it's kind of choppy. And so Marissa and I decided to do some sessions, and I wanted to interview the authors of the New Testament. So that's what I did. That's what we did. And we got to know the authors. There's eight of them. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, Paul, John, Peter, James, and Jude. Am I missing one? No, that's it. And so I think you'll enjoy those books. We're going to go ahead and eventually record those as well for those who just absolutely hate to read. 
And sometimes it's just better to listen in your radio when you're on your way to work. And hopefully some of you will take advantage of that. But we all love you. Marissa and I love you all. We all know that you're going to eventually find your way to God if you haven't already. But even if you have, this is a way to kind of give you a little bit of a flashlight through the darkness of the earth. When we finished our Bible Speaks books, we were able to draw out of that just about everything that Jesus put in there. So we have some additional books as well, which include modern day parables by Jesus. I think there's about 18 new parables. And then we put together these uh, three sets of 21 day cards, uh, which are really nice. They're fun uh, to look over. Eventually you'll have a chance to get those. And then we have one book that's called Ask Jesus. And there's like 123 different earthly experiences that you can ask about. And you'll get uh, a 21st century response from Jesus or Peter or Mary or Abraham or Michael or the guides or whoever. Whoever wanted to fill us in on those lessons. And that's in the book called Ask Jesus. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the snow globe, and maybe someday Marissa and I will have a chance to meet you in person and congratulate you on your journey. You all take care. We love you very much.